gonna be a fun show tonight, guys. Well, it is great to be here with all of you tonight. You know, I have been so fortunate to have enjoyed a very long career in show business, thanks to people like you who've supported me throughout the years, so thank you very much, thank you. But to be honest with you, putting this show together was a big challenge. Because what parts of my six decades of show business do you squeeze into a two hour show? What do you leave out, right? Here's the challenge I had in you guys. These are true stories. As walking out of this store, this little eight year old girl sees me and goes, oh, you're the peacock. I was the first mass singer as a peacock. And then shortly after that, this college student sees me. He says, hey, I know who you are. You're Joseph from Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dream Club. So, Having said that, it makes it really difficult putting a show together that spans six decades and many different generations. So having a career like I've had with all the ups and the downs and the twists and the turns is that different people know me from different moments in my life. And I really doubt there's anybody in the world that knows everything about my life. Except you. So, I wanted to share these six decades with you, but that's not the easiest thing to do when we've only got, what, a little over an hour and a half, so no, don't laugh. But to tell it in a reasonable amount of time, I thought stories move faster when they're told in rhyme. So here it is, to you from me, Donnie, an auto rap -ography. <laughs> I was four years old Started singing with my brothers And the sound was like gold So my folks took a leap and said What the hey, we gotta get these monsters out to California Me, I miss my sandbox But I like the beach And I practiced at home While my brothers cut their teeth As a barbershop quartet at Disneyland Where they were soon discovered In a way that no one could have planned See, remember Andy Williams? Well, his dad saw their spark When they sang a couple songs on Disneyland after dark Andy had to agree Those boys could carry a tune And so they went on his show And made the audience swoop I tell you, people sure loved him But I felt left out I mean, come on At five years old I knew what showbiz was about So in 1960 62, I made my big debut, and I showed the whole world what little Donnie could do. You are the sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy, you look so great. Please don't take my sunshine away. By 67, we got noticed by the great Jerry Lewis, who played Rock Rock to my Rock Rock Jr. In a Bob Hope comedy special musical. You mean me? And Nancy Sinatra was of course, when you're busy as we were, you got it. And miraculously, none of us became too much of a jerk. Wow. But we were changing and wanted to rebrand as the Osmonds, a rock and roll band. <laughs> Two number ones in 71 set everything a world with. And but we were still but also part. So Flip Wilson had us on to say, just wait, there's more. Osmond Mania hits and make no mistake This was more than just magazine covers of me eating cake They made bobbleheads, trading cards, and a cartoon staff No Yeah I forgot about that 72 we went metal with awesome. 73 Led Zeppelin's label endorses 74 toured the world again but soon changed courses As Marie and I officially first joined forces what did we do? We did our best Kept on singing and won a few awards, no less In fact, the very first AMAs got quite a reaction When I got to present with my friend, Michael Jackson Me too, huh? Me too really. Rolling Stone, Johnny Carson, Hollywood Squares We were busy young stars with big starry hair Thank you Till 76 when we said a little prayer As the Donnie and Marie show hit the air You're lying Four Boy, what a blast with all those sketchy songs and guests. It sure went fast. And while those memories are sure to last and last, you can rest assured the costumes will stay in the past. <laughs> wow. The 80s, the 80s, no longer were we babies. The TV show was canceled and my fangirls, now ladies. I tried my hand at Broadway and Little Johnny Jones. Yankee Doodle. But the critics, as they say, threw stones. We opened and closed on the very same night. So I packed up my bags and took a homebound flight Thinking, is this the end? Does everyone hate me? No, wait, I know a guest star on the love boat will save me At this stage of your career, you need all the fans you can get Thanks, I'll try to remember that But 
1982, I had a quarter-life crisis. Disappeared and grew a beard that screamed, see, I have vices. But no one took notice until 1985 when this Jeff Beck video reminded folks I was alive. Name? Donnie Osmond. I started getting meetings with producers and the like did some shows, released some singles, really tried. But the radio stations off of Donny Osmond was taboo that their listeners considered me a square. It's true. Till DJs across the country played my single without saying who this mystery artist was behind the song they were playing. People started calling in requesting replays from the clock and when the truth came out said Donny Osmond making a rock. It was surreal yet vindicating to be heard with honest ears after battling my image for so many years. And what was the comeback song heaven set from above? My 1989 release. Yeah, it soon became a smash. Number two on the charts. With also melting hearts. Became my third hit single in a row. Topping the MTV dance charts with that. Then Capitol Records swooped in. Why nine and sign me as the media one. 80 on the history behind me. Embracing the little Donnie. Grown into a man. Paving the way for so much more as the 90s began. Cause I was back from the dead and as a city of there's some um, new, exciting days ahead. And not just in music, though I didn't quite retire with the string and new hits like. In 1991, I found my talent for touring, including the racing kind, which was so alluring. I had two celebrity charity grand prix on slate, and wouldn't you know, I won them both. How do you feel, dude? Great. I almost went pro. Really, Chevy was down, but I was offered a role in a show out of town, playing a guy with lots of brothers who somehow stood out. Something I know absolutely nothing about. It seems safer than racing, though, so I accepted. And good thing is it was bigger than I ever expected. Making me a theater star as a titular dream boat in. Don't think that you made with a color dream come. I was red and yellow and green and blue. Over 2,000 performances, a movie version too. I was like cloth clad, feeling red. Whoa, you know I didn't look too bad. But after six years of basking in the standing ovation, I got a call from the folks over at Disney Animation. They said, Donnie, look, we know you're not Chinese, but we really like your voice. So could you do this, please? How could I say no to bring it to life? A Disney print. Great story, great song. I was easy to convince. So I joined the Disney Red and Sons and got the song on as Captain Lee Chung in the movie. The rest of the decade was mainly occupied by a new TV show with my sister by my side. What a beautiful way it was to open the door to a new millennium with a lot in store. Let's go, let's go, things started out smooth in the brand new century The two Emmy nominations for Mississippi Meanwhile, cartoons couldn't get rid of me Right, Johnny Bravo? You gotta be kidding me Co-host of Miss America, thank for the crown Even if my sister called me out It slides down it did. In 2001, which is still The grossest thing I've ever done Presented awards to some famous names ah. And carried the torch for the Olympic Games Two years hosting yeah. And they got another Emmy nom for that then Joey got a pyramid of friends and Ross went. I can't believe you get to be Donnie Osmond. Did a Pepsi Fist stand, but we freaked out Ozzy. Sure. Got a star with the whole Osmond Posse. Way Brady, Lynn Herman, Lynn O, Larry King, Oprah and Rachel with Dell in between. Dr. Phil, Jimmy Kimmel, Pierce Morgan as well. What can I say? Talk shows know that I sell. Back on Broadway as guest star. Mugging. All my children. Awards oh, that were groovy. You get yourself Call it throw to the movie. Chamber me timbers. Then in the fall of 2008, despite all the projects I had on my plate, my sister and I set an opening day. Six weeks of the flamingo, it was gonna be great. Little did we know it would change our career. Six weeks extended to 11 years. I'd love to reminisce about the cheers and the tears, but the clock still ticking, so we gotta switch gears. The year after we opened, Hollywood called. Your stuff on Dancing with the Stars. And I said, We did it last year and had a good run. So, Grandpa or not, I will not be outdone. I'll give it a shot. And, son of a gun, I came, I danced, I won! The Dickie Six have been my busy set. Tours and out, it shows you bad. Plus, I can rap to it. And any birthday card that broke the net. Then around when it got waxed, figured another surprise opportunity to look with. Dressed as a. He got into the I was the very first Of course it wasn't the first time I made the choice To hide my face and name so I could share my voice It's just such a great way to let the haters know But Donnie, oh, you gonna get Go! Out of sight! 60 plus years at the speed of life If you didn't know before that my flow was nice Well, then you now both show, right Donnie? That's right! Okay, let's finish strong
My name's Donnie Osmond, and I might be famous, but I'm here because you folks have me feeling all laces. It's true in my small see. How should I say this? I'm just so pumped up to be back here in Tulsa, baby! And now, my friends, to you from me is Donnie and Autorapography. Autorapography.